Welcome to another episode of our Lamborghini Urus Chevy Tahoe body swap project. And uh, this is the fourth episode. In the last few episodes, we've taken up the body from the car. Um, we have mounted the initial twin turbo system in the car. And so this car runs now uh, with the turbos in, but we haven't done the intercooler. We haven't done all the piping that goes from the hot side to the cold side yet. So we're gonna be doing all of that in this video. Also, I almost forgot, if you haven't seen the previous episodes, you should check out our playlist which is linked in the description below. And subscribe to our channel to see more glorious Lambo Tahoe content if you want to. And so yeah, with that said, we're gonna dive right in. We're gonna mount the intercoolers and we'll see if we can stuff some boost into this engine. Nice uh, noises there. <laughs> oh my God. It was just an inexpensive eBay twin turbo kit. And uh, I mean, it's not the nicest thing in the world, but it should work. Precision Turbo <laughs> wants to set us up with some, some twin turbo, mirror image turbos. Maybe. Hit us up, link below. It'd be really cool to play along with some of those uh, really nice Actually, turbo nice smart E-gates that they got nowadays. That'd be pretty cool. So far, I've discovered that the uh, blow off valve flange does not work very well. Oh, no. So what I don't know exactly what their intent was for that. I have to cut a hole where? In the hood. Again? <laughs> <laughs> this hood has been through so much it's already. Gonna, I think it's going to be Swiss cheese when we're done. <laughs> Might even be better just to remove the hood altogether. When it's time to put the Lambo body onto this thing, we're going to end up recreating this front section to... Uh, two, and then we can hang these properly. Yeah. For now, we just need to get them functioning. Okay. Fuckins of the headlight will come out. Oh no way! What? Get out of here. Yeah, that's. That is cool. What? It's similar to the Porsche, actually. Not quite. Porsche, the Cayenne yeah, one is cool. kind of. This one's a little, a, a little cam tool. Yeah, that is the easiest one I've ever seen to this pull is out. This thing to a zip tie that you're gonna get from the factory. <laughs> It's a pretty strong zip tie. Anybody need some headlights? No, we still need those. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's how you can board your neighbor's grill. Nice. <laughs> it's actually pretty easy. Not bad, hey? Fine. This piece actually comes out. Yeah. Hey. This was one of the one of the clamps that we had to modify just to make it even work at all. Right out of the kit. Yeah. You get a little creative with that one. We'll have to cut some holes in the bottom here yeah, to feed the compressed air in. If we go out of that directly into it right there and then out of the intercoolers up. Just like so? Yeah. Don't go up as much as we need to. We just gotta remove this shield and then we can come straight out up into the motor. Oh. Mark that out and chop it. Perfect. Okay, good. That was always a good one. Face. Like a bunch of stuff behind there that's gonna whack going. those off too. This goes against every one of our core beliefs. <laughs> it's it's pain it's painful and it's liberating at the same time. Yeah, it's almost like therapy for us. Yeah. That's what happens when you let me use power tools. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Luca, it's not prom night, man. That's right. I know, Settle right? Down. <laughs> <laughs> they even put in there from the factory provisions for airflow for the front mount intercoolers. Yeah, okay. they knew. They knew. They knew this what was, was going to come. This day was going to happen. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. OEM. Oh, oh, yeah. you know, that's made for intercoolers. That's now. actually awesome, though. Everybody on YouTube was, but their GMT 900 is now going to do the airflow mod. I know. That we discovered. We pioneered this. I know. <laughs> Look at that. Need a three inch J bend. Two three inch J bends. We'll be able to come off of this and go straight down. 
okay to three inch 90s for there. Regular 90s, no, not a dime. Straight, 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 two, three inch straights. I want to go get the air hammer tool so we can blow the fan off. Yes. And we'll get in there. And... Is this going to interfere with our lights? Who cares? Uh, a quarter of the turn signal. <laughs> <laughs> so we can just chop half of it off. Chop half the turn. <laughs> Actually, that's true. We got to remember that this, yeah. this vehicle actually doesn't matter that much. That's right. Yeah. Any body mod doesn't really I make would, much difference. To exactly. I would, I would like body to keep it. it I would like to keep it somewhat road legal, ish yeah. looking at least, because I want to go out in the streets and play with it. The middle, the middle, the middle light like, here is the daytime running light. I'm pretty yeah. sure. So. Oh, okay. We're, so we're, we're dialed then. As long as we could turn the headlights on, we're good. Yeah. Headlights up here, so we're. It's like it was meant to be. So these ones will be attached like so. After you guys remove the fan out of the way, then we'll be able to just place that a little bit nicer. I'll be welding that onto there. Eliminate the elbow, put on a straight. Go into that into this. Yeah. yeah. So as soon as we get that done, we can place it and then get our straight section length and then you can weld it all together. I think we'll be boosting right away. Oh yeah. How satisfying is that? I know. I like, love oh, this tool. The burring tool. So satisfying. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, man, that's that's awesome. It's I love amazing. It. Here we go. What are we doing? We're gonna put some beads on these tubes, so uh, the silicone uh, couplers don't just blow off when we hit boost. This little guy. So this is where the coupler is gonna be here, to the exit on the intercooler. So we'll put a nice little bead here. This piece of tubing will weld to that other straight section and then going into the elbow where the blow-off valve is it'll have a coupler right after that going into the the y intersection and is straight into the throttle body so it doesn't take a lot of effort to accomplish that but that's ready we'll just uh Oh my gosh, you guys have gone This is how we do. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the snap so together. Fast. This is a snap together model you used to buy when you were 12. Oh my gosh. That's just the straight shot and we're done. You too could have this Elvis. I could. Okay. Sweet. Hook me up. Bag. Yeah, hook me up. <laughs> <laughs> You use a card? I'll sort the rest out. It's supposed to be in one afternoon. This is fun. It is fun. <laughs> fast, the way, how fast you guys have done it so Just far. Another beautiful yeah, see, normally, we, if you want here, we'd weld, weld all this shit, weld all that. Boy, we are going to weld all of them later on. Later on. This one is just for yeah, fun. This is a uh, proof of content. Yeah, concept. proof of concept. Proof of concept. <laughs> yeah. Once we put the Lambo stuff on, I'm sure we'll have to reconfigure a bunch of shit. Yeah. But. Well, we just want to get everything just at least tied together so we can do some, get some boost into the engine. We're going to get chirped so hard for all these couplers <laughs> <I know>. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Where's the, so many, where's the Bluetooth clamps? clamps? Talk about boost man. everywhere. Oh, Bluetooth clamps. clamps this time. We got all the clamps. Yeah. I use an extra clamp. And there's two clamps on it. There's PTSD from SEMA and the two clamps are right on it. Two clamps to cure. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that tuck's nice. Not bad, eh? Oh no. So you're not scared. I was gonna say, <laughs> you're not scared of this falling? Where's it gonna fall? Oh, for the floor? Attached to the tube. Okay. Where's it gonna go? I don't know. 
Can you see what God just did, man? I challenge this guy because every time I do, God comes in and like Jesus steps in and makes me look bad. How is it gonna fall? Where is it gonna go? Clang! My God. Oh, I got a lot of backseat mechanics here. <laughs> <laughs> We're just concerned. Concerned? I got all watch waiting for me to fail. That's why the camera is here. could have got a piece of metal, put it behind it, and maybe gave me a heads up. Nothing. We're already halfway through the cut. I didn't want to erupt. Exactly. I said, watch the rat. I watched it. I heard it. I watched it. It does. Watch yeah, they're watching me pull the hole in it. <laughs> I'm gonna be welding the 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 boost side from the intercooler all the way up to the throttle body. So it was this side, wasn't it? Not that side or that? Side? Fit 17 and three quarter. You might as well just put one on the end. That's actually perfect. I'm gonna weld that to that. Funky. These things need to go in yeah, farther. I'm gonna go see if this thing fits now. That was a weird cut and it was a really hard thing to measure. So now that we have something that looks like something, let's see if it actually is something. <laughs> This is something, three somethings in one sentence. What? Some something? <laughs> well, some something, let's throw the boys something. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here it is. Is it gonna work? I have oh, all yeah. the faith Whoa. in it. Whoa! It fits? Yeah, I know, it works. Nice, yeah. nice, nice. So that's it. Just those two, those two wells there, I'm gonna go knock them out right now. I'm gonna toss it in there and on to the next one. You're not gonna see the flames coming out of the hood. Oh, no, the no exhaust coming out of the hood. It's gonna be very factory. We can cut them off so it's just like an eighth of an inch above the hood. Yeah, that would be awesome. Ooh. We basically got this thing ready to fire up now, yeah? Now we have the hot side and the cold side done. The plan is we're gonna blow this factory intake up, this intake manifold. Yeah, because we heard that they blow up under boost, so that's what we want to do, right? Okay. Once that factory intake manifold blows up, then we got a sweet fabricated one that we got, and uh, we'll throw some serious boost at it. Hey, Steve? 20 pounds. 20, I think 28 pounds. All right, so we got our turbo system done. We got the cold side in. It's basically plumbed. We might see some intercoolers peeking out of there, so <laughs> <laughs> we got ourselves like a super soccer mom sleeper. Which brings us to our next question. Do we take this thing out and troll some people as is, or do we just jump straight into suspension and put the body on it and get the big wheels? So comment, let us know what you want to do. I think it'd be fun to go out and just spank some people. <laughs> <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> so that's kind of the vibe in the shop, so we're probably going to go that way. but. For now, we got to get an ECU in it. 
put some kind of a tune in it and then just start peeling tires off. So Wait, we're not using the stock ECU? No, we're not using stock ECU. What are, what we're are gonna we put using? a Terminator, uh, Terminator X oh, holly. Max. Mm. So that'll give us, because we're gonna break stuff and we're gonna be evolving. So we wanna have something that we can uh, that we can evolve with us. And sorry about my hand rubbing, it's cold it's out so here. Cold. <laughs> <laughs> so cold. So I don't have some kind of weird take, it's just actually freezing out right now. <laughs> So yeah, that's where we're at. So up next is computer tune, and then suspension. Afterwards, afterwards suspension. So LSK suspensions helping us out with some long travel yes. suspension. That's what I'm most excited I'm about so getting into. I'm so about that. So and then getting the big wheels on it. But for now, I think we should lighten this thing. Yeah, we should cut though. it up, make it a convertible yeah. first. No convertible. <laughs> <Come on, man. laughs> it's in the middle of winter, but we're it's gonna, fine. We're going to go race car and gut the interior and stuff. That's it. Like, subscribe. Do all those things. Keep commenting. If you got any dumb ideas, please share, because we may not have enough of our own. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>